everyone, today I am cooking with Bambi. Get that camera out of my face! And we're going to be making a creamy pasta. So to begin with, I'm going to make the creamy sauce. So what we need for that is water, cashews, nutritional yeast, which has got vitamin B12 and other B vitamins. It's just a fantastic staple for anyone's diet and it gives that nice cheesy flavor without actually the use of dairy. And then we've got I put a little bit of salt in and my favorite, fresh garlic. Sometimes I like to put some herbs in. Here I have dry basil. If you have fresh basil, even better, or oregano goes really nicely too. And then on the side, I'm going to fry up some mushrooms. And I'm also gonna chop these guys up. I've just got some Kalamata olives here and also some capers, which I like to throw in at the end and mix it through. And then I've got a pasta here. I'm using an organic durum wheat semolina spaghetti, but you can use whatever favorite pasta you like. If you like rigatoni, penne, the creamy sauce goes really well on all pasta. All right, so let's get started. I'm gonna grab my Vitamix and I'm gonna start putting the key ingredients for the sauce into it. Alrighty, so I'm gonna put in the water first to begin with. So I put, I normally do it intuitively. I don't know what measurements, I can't give you exact measurements, but I thought about it earlier and I thought probably about a cup and a half of water and then about a cup of these. We'll see. I might have to add a few more of these or a bit more water depending on how we go. These are natural cashews. They're not toasted. Although the toasted ones can go quite nicely to it. Yes, it gives off that roasted flavor, but they do not sort of blend up quite as smoothly as the natural ones. So next I'm gonna add the nutritional yeast. Once again, this is intuitive for me. So I'm just gonna pour it in. Let's take a look. It looks like fish food. Next, I'm gonna put in a bit of my Himalayan pink salt. And last but not least, my favorite, the Australian garlic. So I put in four cloves, which is quite a bit of garlic, but I do love my garlic and it's good for you. Alrighty, so last step in the creamy sauce is to blend it up. Sometimes I just like to pause it, take a look to see if the consistency is where I like it. So I just added a few more cashews, half a handful, just because the consistency is a little bit watery for my liking. So I'm just gonna leave that there for a while while I prepare the other ingredients. I'm gonna fry up the mushrooms and I'm gonna give that a final blend just before I pour it onto the pasta to make sure it's extra creamy. And it also gives time for the cashews to really soak up the moisture and then they become smoother and creamier as well. While these are frying up, I'm going to get the water boiling so that by the time these are all fried up and ready to go, the pasta can go in as well. So I've put over it a little bit of sesame oil, which isn't very Italian of me, but neither is making vegan creamy pastas, but it's the new way forward. You can substitute uh, the sesame oil for any oil that, of your preference, or alternatively, you don't have to use any oil at all. You can put a dash of water and fry these guys up. While that's frying up there, I'm gonna start cutting up the olives ready to go into the sauce at the end. Look at that, beautiful. So I'm just giving this another blend because the pasta water is still boiling and it's looking like a fantastic consistency. It's very thick, thick, like meat. So I'm gonna cook up all the pasta because I have a fair bit of creamy sauce I made. So I'm cooking up 500 grams, it's enough to serve about four people. But I am going to have leftovers for tomorrow, which is fine because I'm a bit lazy and I still love leftovers. But it's not the same the following day because the pasta soaks up all the creaminess and the moisture overnight. And when you pour it fresh on the pasta or the creamy sauce, it's just divine and incomparable. So I'm just going to do a little sprinkle of basil before I do my one last blend. But take a look at how creamy and delicious this sauce looks. So I just put in a little bit, not too much. Now for my favorite moment of the creamy pasta cooking, is pouring it all over the pasta. It is very satisfying indeed. I'm gonna come in and put the pasta and just the time. So take a look at this before I mix it up. Now I'm just gonna throw in the rest of the ingredients. Olives. Papers can also be really nice fried up for a creamy pasta because that is like a little crispy, salty burst of goodness. So it's nice and Alfredo carbonara for the pasta. All righty, let's dig in. Mm. Look at that. 
So if you have some fresh basil or some fresh herbs, they'd go beautifully on top as well. For all the ingredients and the recipe instructions, I'm going to leave them in the description box down below. Let me know if you have a go at making this delicious vegan creamy pasta and leave a comment down below as well. Cruelty free means guilt free and yummy.